Let's share ideas on how to win architectural design competitions. Number 1. I know it sounds cliche but the first and the most important guide to any building design is obviously site analysis. Site analysis usually includes topography, building bylaws, surrounding environment, social and cultural values as well as the building sciences like solar path, wind direction and more. Although it might be a simple task, but what I have observed is that many designers and students dive too deep into the evaluation that they forget the analysis data is good only as long as it is implemented. And if the data is only there to show the work volume but not integrated in the design process, then you will only waste the time of judges. Number 2. Concept Development Many 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 students make this same mistake. They waste huge amount of their time coming up with the concept. But that is not how you start a good design. My suggestion is that start with essentials. For example, ask yourself, what does the site demand? How can you orient your building for proper lighting and ventilation? What my design can add to the social or cultural values of the surrounding? Then, in the middle of the design process, the concept might blossom like an element of surprise. So yes, let your design surprise you. Number 3. Plans and Elevations Plans are all about functionality. There is no one solution. Zoning is about possibilities and each has its own pros and cons. So, while designing floor plans, you have to make a decision of what users would love, tolerate and despise and make choices according to that. My advice will be, don't try to complicate things. Keep the circulation as interactive as possible and think about major building sciences like solar orientation, natural ventilations and more. Now talking about elevation. Elevation is mostly about building sciences and aesthetics. For ornamentation, I would suggest that we can add all the things we would like to see in the details and then start subtracting what's annoyance and keeping what's important. But it takes a lot of intuition to design elevation and find perfect balance, harmony, rhythm and contrast. Finally, for interiors you can use indoor greenery, atrium, CNC pattern, glass partitions and more. But the most important in my opinion is furniture layout placement because it is what gives vibe of comfortability and humans love comfort. Number 4. How to prepare a presentation Tips number 1. Learn about the judges and organizers. Your presentation style may vary according to the people that are judging it. If you have a clear idea on what the jurors are looking for, then the likelihood chance of winning increases. Number 2. Choose your style and keep it minimalist. Revolve your graphics around the theme. It can be certain color palette, visual language or golden ratios etc. Tips number 3. Get to the point. Keep the point short but impactful. That is, speak less, tell more. Tips number 4. Let the visuals do the talking. And finally, tips number 5. Don't let the perfection get in your way of execution. So, what's the point of this video? Will this really guide you to the path of success? In terms of probability, most of you are not going to win. 
but that should not be our end goal. If we are participating in these competitions expecting reward, then most of us are surely going to be disappointed. Even if you have the best design in hand, the jurors might have different taste. So I would like to encourage you guys to give your best and don't let the result decide your future whether you win or lose. There are a lot of things to teach you guys but I cannot summarize everything in this one video. So stick around for another content, best of luck.